I met him out there. Uh, there was no exchange of money or anything. Um, he and I transported a tiger skin that was supposed to go to Jeff Lowe. Uh, and I had heard rumor that he sold the tiger skin to somebody for like five grand. What about Joe selling tiger skin? That I have no idea. Um, the only one I know of was to Blake Coble. Uh, Orange Tiger, I think it was. Okay. But Joe didn't actually get the money for that. Who did? Uh, it went to his mom to pay her back for something, I don't know. Well, there was still money from the transaction. Yes. There was no head, no feet on it. It was just... It was actually one that was hanging up in the bar. up on there uh, about Jeff Lowe trans or sending drugs to the mail, marijuana, from, and it, his daughter is the one shipping it to him from Colorado. Mm -hmm. I've heard that before. Where, where is that information coming from? That, those are actually texts between Jeff and Jeff. How do you have that? Oh, Joe forwarded it to you? Joe sent it to me. Gotcha. He has all that information on the phones that he's saying he has. So this conversation here, this is who? Uh, that is me. Okay. Anything on this side of the phone is me, anything on this side is Joe. And these photos are text between Jeff and Joe? Yes. Also, when you talk about drugs, what about information that, um, I, I don't know you used, I don't know if you're still using, I know you've used no. in the past. No. Never? Uh, the, uh, maybe the only thing I'm using now is like marijuana. Well, I, don't, I don't believe you're, I don't have any information that you're using now is what I said. I know you've used in the past and you and Joe have used in the past. Joe was supplying some of the park members marijuana and I have heard that he has, and he might have been using that as a payment for him instead of giving him money at times, but that was all that I heard. So, I had never received anything. Not even up there at the bar? No. Mm -mm. No, now if I do have to use it, it's just to help me sleep or even calm my nerves. But it's not a regular thing. Right. Did you and Joe used to use meth occasionally? Yes. I'm not proud of it. No. We all look back at our lives. I and mean, know there's that's, just, that's why my tattoos are all holed up. Y'all yeah. did some crazy stuff when you went on your meth trips? Yeah. Dressing up. Or I would dress up and stuff like that. You know, you, you hear stuff to each their own. I make no judgments or anything like that. I'm just trying to verify stories that are uh -huh. true. Oh, I'm sure. You think, when was the last time you knew that Joe was using? Um... There was, when I was working on the pizza building that's up front, uh, we were in the early stage of putting the frame up and stuff, and he called me one night and uh, kind of propositioned me. He'd pay me if I'd come down there and party with him. I was like, no, because at that time I was really loyal to Amber 
and the three kids that we had at home, mm -hmm. and I was not going to put anybody in that predicament. I'm going to go back to the murder for hire stuff again because that's kind of where we just kind of started off before we had a mm -hmm. policy. You said a couple of times that you thought Joe was always joking. Yeah, he was. He could joke around quite a bit, yeah. Joking around making comments? Did you ever feel like he was seriously wanting to call, have Carol harmed? No. Why do you say that? I, I hear Maybe the one that joked around him quite a bit. So you, now, do you guys know he was starting to work with Carol, right? How so? The uh, do you know about the fraudulent transfer of land? Why don't you tell us about? It? Okay, back in 2015, uh, Joe's mom and Jeff Lowe both signed the deed to the land. And every so often it would come up about fraudulent transfer of the property. Uh, and in oh wait, it would until Joe left it was never a big deal. And when Joe left that's when his mom made sure that it, she agreed that it was a fraudulent transfer. And in that time, that area, or that time period, the caretaker of uh, Joe's parents sent a message to uh, Howard Baskin and agreed to the fraudulent transfer if she uh, if she agreed to let me live at the house after Jeff Love was all gone and tear the zoo down. Get rid of all the animals and tear it all down. And so that, who made that offer to Carol Baskin or her attorney or her husband? Um, Shelly is the one that sent the text to Howard Baskin. And I'm trying to find it. I'm just have to look through the text to find it. While you're looking at something, I want to ask you, let me go back to something you said a while ago. You said Joe would tell you to lie. Why would you? Why would Joe want you to lie? So it, a lot of times to make himself look better. Or not guilty. Or not guilty, yes. Right. There's a lot of times that he took credit for a lot of stuff that I did. And when I left in 2014, I didn't realize it, but he was taking credit for everything that I was doing. Um, just like the uh, USDA, uh, it was something we were doing for cancer patients where we would take animals to them to, there was a little girl in Kansas so was stage four brain cancer. The one thing she wanted to do was pet a baby lion. And I saw it on the news and told Joe, hey, we need to go do this, and we did it. 
And later on, after I left, he kept doing it and was taking credit for everything that I wanted to start. Does Joe know that you've come to see us? No. I haven't told anybody. But the only ones that really know are my aunt, my mom, and Johnny, and Jeff Johnson. Well, I don't know any of those people enough to say that they won't say anything, but you're not going to hear it from us that you've come to talk today. When was this, Sam? July 29th? Um, it was either that day or maybe a couple days before. I mean, that shows that Shelley, who was a caretaker of Shirley, sent a letter to Baskins, but we don't know what the Baskins said after. I don't know either. Yeah. That's the only info I got on that. So I'll, I'll share with you my thoughts on that. I think it's a reach to say that the Baskins and Joe were working together. I think you can say by that text there was an attempt by Shirley's caretaker to reach out to the Baskins. But and then there was also a USB sent to him. I know because Joe gave it to me to give it to Shelly so she could send it to Howard. What was that all about? Uh, it has the QuickBooks on it. Has Joe ever told you, I know you're storing a lot of stuff out there at Shirley's when Joe moved. Uh, not anymore. Mm -hmm. I, the only things I have out there are uh, my armor, uh, a weight set, and a treadmill. And that's all I have left but, to get. But before, there was a lot of computers, there was a lot of paperwork, lots of files. And Joe asked, and did Joe ever ask you to go out there and get rid of stuff? Not to get rid of it, no. What did he want you to do with it? Um, now, like the computer monitors, the TVs, and stuff like that. Stuff that Carol didn't ever want. It. Even the magic stuff, Carol didn't want it. She let it go in bankruptcy court, and she let it go in court. Um, that stuff he just told me to sell. And whatever I sell for, I keep. What about, uh, never destroyed any files for him? No. What did you burn out there in the driveway? Uh, it was a flower uh, set. It was from a magic prop. No, I wouldn't destroy any files like that, no. He's never asked you to go out there, break into that building, and remove stuff? He did ask me to do that, but... Is that when you removed the tin from the side and went in there? I did that to get in, yes, because we didn't know where any of the remotes were. We had to have it rekeyed. So why did you go in there? Um, because he asked you to get something? I want to say we were selling the magic stuff. 
if you're selling the magic stuff, it's not that urgent that you're going to break into a building. You can wait for a remote. The reason that you broke into the place is because something was urgent that he wanted you to get in there and get before it got into somebody else's hands. No. Come on. You're not going to break into a building to get some magic there stuff. There was no files in there. There was. There was. The files you might be thinking of, I have at home. Why did you move? They're like presidential stuff and stuff like that, and USDA stuff. That's. But I haven't gone through them or anything. Why did did he want you to take, remove them from that building and take them to your house? Um. When I started moving my stuff out, yeah, that's when he asked you to do that. Yeah. Because he knew. The new caretakers of your mother and them, he didn't want them to get access to that information? Correct. And so you still have all that stuff? Yes. And his laptop computers and stuff like that, what did you do with them? I still have them. If you want them, I can bring them to you. I mean, what are your plans to, to keep them like Joe told you to do? I wasn't going to do anything with them. Yeah. Did Joe tell you to destroy them or just take them to your house? Just taking them out. I mean, they're sitting in my truck right now. The old com the computer that he used at the park is sitting in the truck. Mm -hmm. The files are sitting in the truck. Still there. And the point that I was getting at is Joe knew that some of the information that was stored at that garage he did not want to see in the hands of the new caretakers of Shirley. His niece, yes. All right. You agree with that statement? Well, there was a little period of time where me and Johnny were actually staying there and helping take care of his yeah. parents. But when that changed, Joe wanted his stuff removed from there. That there was something going on between them two. I don't know what it was, but there, him and his niece have never gotten along, or him and his any of his family. The only person he's got along was his mom. Do you know a lot about his finances? No. And how he would move money or pay stuff no. or whose accounts he used? Mm -mm. He kept me out of that loop completely. And I didn't want to know anything about it.